This is the 279th episode of Cloud Focus Weekly for the second week of December 2017. This episode is titled 10 Top Streams of 2017. It is also the last podcast of the year. But Cloud Focus Weekly is brought to you by Clone This User. Duplicates your love. Clone an existing Salesforce user with a clickable button via the desktop or in Salesforce mobile. Available for free on the App Exchange or go to www.clonethisuser.com. Yes, you erase the Salesforce one. And I'm your host, Chase Natwood. Joining me, co host, Justin Edelstein, for the last time of the year. Justin, how are you doing today? I'm just cleaning up after you. Excellent. Uh, we yeah, have. You're taking a little, little lax there. Little, you, you know. You know what? I, we don't generally podcast on Mondays. And you're not in your groove. I'm not in my groove. Get I, your groove back. It was a crazy weekend, so. Jason, get your groove back. Yes. Stella and myself get our grooves back. So we are doing a very special, very special last episode of the year. All blog posts that are happening this month, which there are many, and all other things that happen in the world uh, that are good, we will discuss next year. Yeah, because we're done. We're done. Work.com said we had to do this one more podcast. <laughs> so we thought we'd make it a and doozy. And then Work.com's going away, so we're done. That's right. Work.com doesn't even exist. Next I think year. we're on a good pace for 300th episode at Dreamforce. I think we're I really did the math. On the pace. It's not. It's not. It's not. As it's good. a good pace. No, it's we're going to be 20 off. We'll be at number 280 starting in January. Right, 20 off. But if you look at the week that Dreamforce is on, it's not 20 weeks away. Yeah. How many weeks away is it? It's whatever. I mean, we would. It would be then. We would intentionally not podcast a lot. That's what we do. <laughs> And what's the point of that? Just to do the 300th episode at Dreamforce? That's right. That we didn't do one at Dreamforce this year? Yeah, to make up for it. But it's a okay. 300th episode. There haven't been three... There haven't been Salesforce podcasts that have even had, I would say, 200. 200. So 300 is a big deal. That's so what we're saying. You're crushing. It's a big deal. You're crushing. It's a big deal. All right. You know what's a big deal? This podcast this, right here. This one where we talk about what shows and stuff we're watching so on TV. it's been a while since we had one of our sort of like stuff we stuff we stuff it was last year i have my list from last year oh you do yeah. okay i did not do that i will tell you i did take this rather seriously yeah you took it way more seriously than i did that's uh for sure. well it's because i'm better at most things than you are and so i took it more seriously and i went back in the time machine and i went funny because all these places that are you know, all the streaming places, most of the points, like iTunes, Hulu, Netflix had it. Um, I don't remember if Amazon's was very good, but you could go back and say, show me what I watched. And I thought Hulu's was the best. You just go month by month. It's like, you watch this, you watch this, you watch this. So I just went back through all the pages all the way back to January to kind of see, like, oh, what did I watch this year? Um, so to can make I my just list. stop you right there with yeah? you saying who did the – can we just stop and just acknowledge that – Hulu is awesome. I think Hulu is the best. No. No. See, this is where we're going to differ. Yeah. Hulu is the best. No. Over... All right. Hulu is the best. <laughs> no. All right. You forget it. Forgot which podcast we're on. You can't do that on this podcast. I actually have to bleep that out. Can we just go back a little bit and start like back into that argument? <sighs> Sorry, I forgot what podcasts we're on. Because <laughs> it's not it's like a Maybe this one will be explicit. I don't know. <laughs> no, we oh, can't do that. God. Just uh, go back. Just do what we always do. Just go back. No. Cut it. And then. No. Anyway, I'll figure it out. <laughs> You're just going to bleep that? <laughs> yeah. The whole thing? I don't know how I'm going to bleep. No, no, I'm going to bleep just the part How about you... this conversation? Nope, this I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Because you're right. turning purple. And oh, it's that was so terrible. Literally turning purple. Oh, I never like, hear the end of this one. I love here starting. The, oh no, you're not. Ah, I love hearing the. Start but here's the, why it's awesome. Okay, let me just say. Yeah. Because try first not to of swear all, this time. <laughs> try my best. <laughs> just don't egg me on. So no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think their interface on the Apple TV is brilliant. I feel like it's the best of all of them. I feel like they have 
they're not what they're not the best at is original stuff because i feel like netflix is the king of original content yes and amazon could be the queen of original content and who lose like the jester but at the same I time it was getting better they're getting okay, there yeah but i think that what they've done is said you know what we're gonna be the best at offering up the stuff that's being produced elsewhere almost immediately yes and it's going to be good and you're going to be able to even go back and where netflix has started getting away from they've stopped holding like 10 seasons of certain series as soon as they drop off netflix and you get all upset Boom, they're there on Hulu. Sometimes. Hulu's like but starting go, to grab that market but then, up a little bit. But then bit. Hulu's also got, and this could make this podcast way too long, Hulu's also got the problem where you go to some series and it's like, oh, there's only like three episodes. I went, there's something I wanted to watch the other day, and there's only three episodes. Yeah, it's the new stuff that they don't have the ability to do all of the season right. at the same time that the season's going on. I will, I will tell you the thing that, so I think Hulu and Netflix are very close uh, I actually like Netflix's interface better. I just like it better when I arrive and I can kind of scroll through things. Um, from a, like, I want to go watch a lot of things. From a, you're right, for just to get in, get the one episode of Saturday Night Live that I haven't watched, like, who's better for that? Because Like, I've have- started to TiVo things and then be like, all right, I'm going to go watch it on Hulu. Right. Like, the TiVo sort of reminds me to go to Hulu and watch it, even though Hulu has a good way to do, like, my stuff. Right, yes. That's basically your TiVo. Well, anyway. All right. Let's anyway, get off that let's our stop, debate. Cause stop it's not a debate. cursing. Um, yes. So, okay. so I went back. I let's picked go. out 51 things. You're the best. Let's do it. Well, clearly, because I don't swear on this podcast. <laughs> um, you don't then I, it, podcast? then I broke it down by network. Cause like so, the rules for this, I really want to pick. You didn't give me rules. You just said pick no, ten. Of course, I just made up my own. Now rules. you're gonna make up. I rules. want to have a good cross reference of stuff. I want to have stuff that wasn't just I'm stuff that I've that. watched. You know, I want to be just stuff I watched this year, but it doesn't mean it was made this year. Um, and there's lots of things that I couldn't fit on the right. list. Of 10. I have twelve things. Can't have twelve. Well, I have twelve. You're gonna probably pick at least two of them. So that'll screw me over all right well i'll have a couple honorable mentions i have tons i could just i could keep going on and on and on but let's start let's do it all right i'm gonna go 10 down you're just gonna roll through no, 10 you're no, gonna, you're gonna roll go 10, no we're gonna do 10 10 9 9 8 8 oh you're i don't even i don't have them in any particular order so that's fine <laughs> do you do you understand a 10 list what a it's top, not a top 10 list it's a 10, it's 10 top not top 10 you you didn't give any rules. All right. You're so gonna these make are this like no order for you. No particular order. They're in order for me. For me, these are all equally awesome. Okay. I'm going to start from 10 and go down. Okay, fine. So why don't we just – you give me one. All right. I'll one. do that too. You go ahead. All right. Well, no. You always have to go first in these. You always go first. You said you were going to go so first. Pick the... But you said you were going to go first. Go first. All right. So because it is something I stream and because I wanted a good cross-reference, I'm actually picking a podcast for my first, for number 10. Wow, this is so terrible. No, because I think that's the thing is like things we listen to and watch. Like, oh, you said TV, you said stream. Top 10 streams. Oh, you didn't really, TV. you did a terrible job yeah. at setting you didn't this ask up questions. for success. You didn't have good Fine, questions. Fine, go. Just do your podcast. I'll go. Uh, right. Freakonomics. Let's go. Yeah, Freakonomics. Done. Let's I go. still Move listen on. to it. I still, well, let's. Chill. Try not to be too grumpy pants. All right. <laughs> I've already cursed on. This I know. Episode. You're gonna get so, so much flack. Oh. You're more worried about what the little uh, one's gonna do to you than anything else. Oh, That's really, all you're worried so about. So in trouble. I know. That's oh, oh. terrible. All right. Tell us about Freakonomics. So Radio. Freakonomics is um done out of here. It's out of New York. Now I'm gonna throw a podcast into mine. And you should. And it is based on the sh- the not based on but based off the author and then they took it uh, uh, WNYC Studios here in New York nonprofit studios oh that's the PBS um, station yeah right? they do it they produce it but here's why I put it on my list I actually gave money to a podcast they put out this very heartfelt like listen we are a nonprofit thing you know my father used to work for, yeah no he used to work for a nonprofit uh, public channel public TV station yep. so I was like, you know what? I will give you money. I will. He's actually, this is actually one of the best produced podcasts I listen to, and yeah, it's free. So anyway, Freakonomics is really good. Almost every episode is brilliant. The one on toilets, I would say, go listen to that one. It's very funny, and it's consistent. They're good. They're well produced. 
just n- literally Freakonomics is, is, and I have lots of podcasts I listen to, but that one is like the one that's just stands high and above. All right, pick one. I have a lot of things that I listen to Various as well. Various different things. But I'm going to go podcast then if you're going, okay, podcast. I'm going podcast. We'll just go podcast for podcast. Podcast for Start podcast. The Bill Simmons podcast. Yes, well, you do love the Bill Simmons. I love me some Bill Simmons. And it's a really awesome cross section of mostly sports, but he brings in the pop culture stuff um, you into say. almost every conversation. He also has really good guests. And he's not a terrible interviewer. He's not a great interviewer, but he's he's adequate. So it's like he's better than Mark Benioff? Oh, way better than Mark <laughs> Benioff. But he's not like Mark Marin. Like Mark Marin does great right. interviews on his podcast. And, you know, he'll have Malcolm Gladwell on because he was uh, part of the launch of the website. Um, this is all from the Ringer Network of podcasts, of which there are like 10 to 20 of them. Um, he has Chuck Klosterman on like at least a couple times a year, which is always interesting. And he gets into some stuff that um, normal I would say normal podcasts wouldn't touch. Like right. mainstream, pod, they talk about betting and gambling lines a lot. And they like really get into it, and I quite enjoy it. So Awesome. Bill Simmons podcast. Yeah, if you like would. sports, go for it, because he's just kind of all about sports. So many sports. All right, I'll go next. Yeah, go for uh, it. Now I'm going to go to a documentary. All right, I'll go to a doc then. All you right. go first. Uh, betting on zero. Okay. I told you, told you to me watch, watch this. it. Yeah, I totally watched watch it the other day. Uh, it's, I've watched a few documentaries this this year. Uh, it's kind of just fascinating because what it is, and there's no like whatever. It's it's a a documentary about a, a guy, a famous hedge fund titan, I guess they call him. You know, billions who decides to go against the big company that uh, called the Herbal, Herbalife and he bets against them basically in the stock market and but he does this over a long period of time you know on the thing that he knows they're, he thinks they're going to fail but based on the fact that they're a pyramid scheme and he then tries to prove it and keeps betting against it so it's like this documentary kind of about this company that could just be like here's a pyramid scheme but then it's a guy who's made billion dollar bets against them based on the fact that they are a pyramid scheme right where you fall out on that i'm not going to go but really fascinating and i watched it maybe six months ago and i'm still thinking about it i still think about it all the time we were looking at something the other day i was like wow you could go see betting on zero so betting on zero i think it's everywhere i bought it or rented it on itunes um by the way back to your thing it's where who can't be the best is they don't allow downloading yeah so everybody don't, else they don't allow has figured it out yet. Everybody. So they'll figure it out eventually. Netflix, Amazon, iTunes. Yeah. All have figured out. Amazon did it first. Netflix does it better. Uh, Netflix's uh, throughput or the level of whatever they need for bandwidth is, I mean, to go really geeky Silicon Valley, whatever they've done to like input out, in out, press it, in in out, out, whatever, they've done a good, better job. Top to bottom. Top, bottom, in, out, whatever. They did that better than anyone. You need less bandwidth to stream and download on much Netflix. less time. Like I don't know how much is taking up. Well, it downloads things in seconds Very as opposed quick. to minutes. And I yeah, uh, uh, Prime Video. It feels like you have to, you have to like you I'm gonna think start Amazon today if I'm on Wednesday. You'd think they'd have that like down. Yeah, and Weird, iTunes right? is just a file and it comes down. Like whatever, it just comes all right. Down. All right, I'll go to a doc. Sure. Um, HBO. Rolling okay. Stone Stories from the Edge. This was just released. It was on maybe a month ago. Yep. In the month of November, I guess. And it's about Rolling Stone magazine. It's two parts, two hours per part. They are both equally intriguing and interesting. And the stories that are being told are fantastic. And the history of the magazine is just really, a, it's really nice to see like, the the whole story of the magazine and where they were the counterculture and then became the culture and it was just a really fascinating look into how the magazine was started and what they've done since where it was available where is it on hbo oh it's on hbo yeah that's cool so if you have hbo go or now you can check that out or yeah i guess you could tivo it if you don't have either one of those things well yeah but you can stream it on hbo go all right hbo is the one also one doesn't want downloading right i gotta get on that uh, so I'm going to go left field now. 
As opposed to right field or center field? I'm going definitely left field. Shortstop. Uh, there is one YouTube channel that I watch a lot that I actually go to it and like whenever there's a new one of it, there's actually a couple. One of my honor mentions is in there, but I won't, I'll wait. Uh, but there's one called Cinema Sins, and they do a series called Everything Wrong With, insert movie title, in time, you know, like 13 minutes or less. Uh, it is one of the most enjoyable. They're generally between 15 and 19 minutes, so they're not like tiny. And sometimes in YouTube is like, hey, here's a four minute YouTube. I don't want a four minute YouTube. I want something like substantial. Sometimes they're 22 minutes, sometimes, they're, but they're generally done by Cinema Sins. And the premise is you start watching it. And then he does, you're, you're watching the movie, right? Just obviously like 18 minutes of it. It's all cut up. There's a, what he's saying at the bottom is, is always typed out, right? Whether you, right, it's always typed out. And then he has this sin counter and he's everything they do wrong in the movie. Like every, either it's mistakes or plot holes or tropes or he always starts off with like 45 seconds of logos. Bing! It's always the one, you know, they always do the logos at the beginning. And you get to really, as with all things, you get to really like him and his humor. And then it's great if you just just watch the movie. Like, it's the best. You, like, you go watch Wonder Woman, and then you go watch this, and it's hysterical. Because then he points out all this stuff that's sort of wrong. It's not like, oh, there's a shot where the person in the background. It's not that. It's more of like potholes and, and things that just don't make sense. Um, it's so good. I swear it is so good. And some of them I've gone back and watched again and again because they're just really good. So... It's Cinema Sins. It's on YouTube. It's they have a bunch of series, but one of them is Everything Wrong with, and it's the movie one. And he puts out like I don't know two a week. They're highly produced, like, and you feel like you kind of watch the movie. So sometimes you'll get the one that's like, oh, it's like a movie you saw like ten years ago, and you're like, oh, watch that one, and then it's kind of funny. He rips it apart like ET or something, and he rips it apart, and it's fun. Um, anyway, that was it. Oh, okay. Yeah, my turn now. You gonna wake up? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Since I'm just following you here, I'm gonna go left field too. Okay. Not necessarily as left field as that, but I'm gonna go with live stream. Okay. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the live streaming of sports uh, and how it's gotten a lot better. Yeah. So on and primarily football, um, but you can do this with other sports too. But through the apps, so I'm just gonna talk about the ones that I pay attention to. Thursday night football, you can watch on Amazon. Yep. And you can watch that and on Twitter. your iPad. Or what? No, on Twitter. not Twitter. This year's oh. Amazon. Started Twitter. Last year was Twitter. This year's Amazon. Always Amazon? It's not on anything but Amazon. Okay. They bought that right. Or Netflix. Or Last year, Amazon I Network. think that Twitter paid like $50 million yeah. for the rights. And this year, Amazon paid one fifty. <laughs> so that's just going up. Okay. that's This is a thing. This is happening it and it's real. It's like literally 16 games. Even it's, less probably. It's a real thing. Um. NBC Sports. NBC Sports, you can watch Sunday Night Football. You can also watch um, the Premier League Soccer. Yep. So if, if you're a big fan and you don't want to watch what's on uh, you know, the NBC Sports channel, you can pop into the app, and it's great. Um, same thing on, on the ESPN app. They have whatever's on ESPN live. You can just watch, and MLB's got an app. NBA's got an app. They have all got apps future of tv's apps it's actually starting to happen so yep. you can start to think about the idea of like oh you know i got these apps i could watch my team i could watch all the national stuff hmm right if sports live sports that's the only thing you're watching live if that's what's holding you back you're it getting is, there it is kind of the things holding me back getting there it's what holds a lot of people back from cutting right from you're getting you're getting there get right there. uh i would add in the NFL app, which allows you to watch yeah, condensed all, versions. All the, sports, all of the all big leagues have their own apps which, that allow you to do all sorts of fun stuff with. Right. You can watch different versions. Right. that, And then um, highlight packages, yes. whatever it is. It's and all there. And in the new Apple TV update, which everybody I'm sure has got on the new Apple TV, they now in the TV section, they have sports. So then you can pick your favorite teams. Yeah. And then it'll highlight that and keep them at the top of your a sports. A fail app. for Netflix, not in the TV app. Hulu right. in the get TV in the app, app. Amazon in the TV app. They just got on there. They're in the TV app. Yeah, get HBO's in, there. in the TV app. Let's go get in there. 
All right. Uh, my next one. We're three in. Although I'm writing mine down and you're not. Oh, I have them all here because I actually made a list. Cool. Um, and I'm just going to go on my list. So comedy. Yeah, I'll Netflix, follow you with comedy. Netflix has gone bananas with their stand-ups. So I just uh, recently went to see Chris Rock in person. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this year I might have watched 10, 15 different stand-up comedians in Netflix. They have tons of them. They have all the ones you know, some of the ones who we don't talk about anymore. Uh, but they have tons and tons and tons of them, and I just love it. I love it so much because they're about an hour and ten minutes. They're great for the gym, and they're funny. And generally, if you like the comedian, you just get into it. So there's the, there's the Amy Schumers, and there's the Chris Rocks. and there's Weather the, special. There's tons, but there's one that I have been trying to get everybody to watch because I was laughing my tuk-tuk off. You can curse on this podcast. No, I cannot. Now, apparently. Um. It's Ali Wong is the name of the comedian, and she does a, the stand up is called Baby Cobra, and it is hysterical. She's like I've said this before. She's like she's like Amy Schumer, without a filter. <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, okay. it's a thing. And in it, she's incredibly pregnant, which she just ignores for the whole, for about forty five minutes of this hour. She just doesn't even mention it, and she's bulging cute and with a tight dress and it's just hysterical because you know she's saying all this very very raunchy stuff so the juxtaposition of those two things and then she gets to talk then she talks about don't it. give that up. come on Leave no well alone. no it's it's content it doesn't right. matter it's very funny i could have picked so many there's another comedian who i really really like who has a bunch of series out there but this one i i think about it all the time i think i'm gonna rewatch it with the wife because i i it was so funny i watched right. a few of those um and they were all pretty good oh, they're all good i mean wh- there so was a couple of really weird ones i watched the judah friedlander one i didn't read super strange is that the one he fell asleep on the plane Laura? i always fall asleep to things on okay. the plane yeah, yeah i have then picture. i rewatched by the way it. tweet me if you want the picture of him sleeping on the plane it's happening so i'm gonna go with the comedy but i'm gonna go with a more of a sitcom comedy. Okay. I have a couple on my list. Yep. I'll do See, this one so first. Far, I think if we make it by this next round, we're not going to cross. Because there's a couple in here I know you haven't even watched. Okay, good. So, okay. So, I'm going to go with The Good Place. Yeah, I think we're going to make it. The Good Place is the best comedy on television right That's now. That's the one that all of them are not on Hulu. The first two or three episodes aren't on Hulu. Of it's The Good Place? the latest. Yeah. So, well, I went was. back to watch it. But that then they pull it. Then they pulled it. But it's only five episodes in. Seven in this season, and then they like stopped for the season. I'm not sure but why. You don't have one. I went to go. Did you watch the... season one? I did. Yeah, it's very funny. It's great. I love it. Kristen Bell is fantastic, yes. and Ted Danson is equally fantastic. He is very funny, and all the characters. I mean, some like funny stuff. It's a funny. It's a funny. The concept's um, funny, concept's and the execution's funny, funny. Yes. and it's from the guy who did. Um, Parks and Rec. So right. like, it's, and that's funny. That's funny. Even that he did it is funny. Yeah. And Chris Pratt was in that, and Chris Pratt's funny. Chris Pratt's not in the Good Place, though. No, but he was in Parks and Rec. Sure. And he was funny. He was. So that makes that makes the Good Place funny. No, well, not really. Through association. Not quite. Try, ah, no swearing. All right, let's just keep going. All right, you can do the next one. I'm gonna stay with more comedies because I actually it. have not a comedy, but I have my. Uh, it's a Hulu original. Oh, so Ali Wong, by the way, Netflix. Uh, a Hulu original. We might cross. If it's not this one, we're not crossing on anything. Uh, it's new on Hulu. Hulu Ridge. Totes yeah, we're going to cross on this one. Totes Go Ridge. Ahead. I Love You, America. Yeah, I'm going to cross that one off. With Sarah my, Silver, uh, Silverman. Uh, fantastic. It is fantastic. Mathers. So it is a politically inspired so it's it's in the daily show last week tonight genre it's, yeah right it's it's a little bit of stand-up a little bit of situationally challenging things um but it's definitely got a political tilt to it she's definitely goes after a subject like last week tonight does and then does an interview like you know uh, the daily should would do daily show would do so it's in that thing yeah right? it's a nighttime it's it's, it's not a talk show it's a take on a talk show what's interesting about it is it is a weekly show right so like it's not one of these netflix you know release it and it's all out there no right it's a it's weekly hulu show. style it's hulu style it's 
it's very and it's very funny. And if you happen, so Sarah Silverman's, I think it's called "We Are All a Speck of Dust" or "We Are All Dust." Her special on Netflix is absolutely hysterical. So watch that. And if you love Sarah Silverman, this is really good. She's so funny in it, and she takes a lot of chances. And the first episode, just saying, um, tr- don't be eating while you watch it, or maybe be eating. Whatever. It's yeah. a little, little in your face. A little bit. Right there. Right. It's right there. Uh, you got it. Okay. So, all right. Sorry, we crossed all that right. one. Well, we crossed that one. I won't be able to use it, but that's cool. That's cool. I will use another sitcom. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, go for it. The Mick. Oh, I love yes. The Mick. Well, Caitlin Olsen, sucker every time. D from It's Always Sunny. Yep. She's got her own show. She's wow. basically D as The Mick. Yep. And it's really funny. It's really good. It works. Um, she's great. The what, supporting what, cast what is, is great. It on? It's on Fox. Um, it's on Hulu. Okay. So this is why I like Hulu because you could watch like the new stuff, right? As it like that week or whatever, and just skip no commercial. To me, that's laziness. It's like I've got it on my TiVo where I have to actually have the remote in my hand and fast forward. But this is way better. I don't even need to touch it. Totally. It's better. Not laziness. It's just better. I'll, like, I'll, better I'll, way to watch TV. I picked it last time we talked about The Profit, which I still love. Uh, yeah, we recorded on the on TiVo. And you're right. You see it on TiVo. It and reminds like, oh, you. It's like, oh, wait. That's on Hulu. That's on I'm Hulu. watching on Hulu. See ya. Later. I'm going over there. Later, cable. Be- <laughs> because. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Because, yeah, zero, zero commercials. So Hulu Plus only, by the way. You have to get the Hulu Plus to get yep. the zero commercials. Spend the extra couple bucks. Sarah will tell you that. Yeah. If you watch uh, the I Love You America, she, makes a funny she will like tell you in the first episode that if you're cheap, see you in a couple minutes. If not. I'll be right back. Yep. That's very um, So, uh, The Mick. Good show. Awesome. Funny show. So, I'm, I guess my last of the serious ones. Nope. I have a couple more. I'm five in now. So, we're um, five in, right? I'm, yeah, I'm heading into my right, we're five six in. pick here. Okay. Uh, I think this was on ESPN as a series, but then it went to Hulu. So, it's one of those that might just bounce. That's where I watched it was Hulu. What was it? Is OJ Made in America? Oh, that's on my list. You got me. Oh, another one? Yep. Oh, wow. It's on ES- It's actually on ESPN. So it's ESPN, but it was on Hulu. It's on ESPN, the app. You can stream okay. it there. It's great. It's there. It's a three part. They're bo- five. Is it five? Five. Five two hour parts. They are. It's amazing. It is amazing. It's a documentary. This is not the. the it's t- actually. So they aired. As two hour blocks, but okay. I think they in reality they're an hour forty. Yeah, that's right. It's three. It's three episodes. It's not Hulu. Three. It's three three one how I, I no, think. Okay, well, whatever no. it was. I Tur- watched I watched it when as it aired that week. Okay. So but they might have broken it up differently for the stream. No. No? No. You sure? I am positive. You sure. If they okay. broke it up differently, they would have been three hours long if you only had three of them. Right, but no commercials. Right. Without the commercials, they're like an hour forty. Okay. Each. They are so anyway. It, is it was a movie. O.J. Simpson. It's a diff- so there was a double O.J. Simpson this year or last year. Right. One was the... The FX show. Right. And this one. This and, was a serious doc. And when this one came out, I kind of... People were talking about all oh, the O.J. stuff, and I watched the FX show, and I was like, eh. And then people talked about this, and I was like, eh, well, isn't that that... You know, I was getting them confused. This is fascinating. This is amazing. It's basically... It's very, again, documentary style. But what I really liked about it is that it 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 talks a lot about where America was at the time. It's not just OJ did this, bloody glove, blah blah blah. It's like it sometimes would spend 40, 50 minutes talking about here's what's going on in this area around this topic and how he fit into it. It got to the why right. of what happened with OJ in a very elegant way. Right. It it really did like the first, even the first episode where it was like, like OJ in college and OJ yeah. and like you, you know nothing about Nicole at all. Right in the first two hours, how they set that all up was brilliant. Yeah, it, it's it's really really well done. And if you have any chance to watch it, watch it wherever you yeah, can. Yeah, give that a shot. It's really good. It's even if really whether you like sports, don't like sports, doesn't it's matter. just really great doesn't documentary. Matter. It really doesn't matter. All right. All right. So, so two crosses. Yeah. Let's so fifth. six. Six. On the return. Return of the champion. Yeah. Curb your enthusiasm. Oh, interesting. HBO I Go. I haven't watched it. It is back. 
Is it good? Yeah. Never really liked it. Really? Years and years and years ago when it came out, it was not my type of humor. But I feel like it's more my humor now than Maybe. it was. Maybe. And maybe because he's been on SNL so often, like I kind of like get him a little bit more. Perhaps. I mean, did you watch Seinfeld? I did. All of it. You did not. I didn't. I know. I like Curb. People who like Seinfeld generally like I mean, Curb. But it's, so it's, it's a sitcom. It is, but it's, but it's a, a little. It's an ad lib sitcom. Very, very loose. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very loose with its writing and concepts as opposed to like real jokes and it's very awkward, and it's Larry David. It's yes. su- it's super awkward humor, and this season just ended. I haven't seen the end of it yet, but I've been told. Yeah. Ha- like, I got, like, three emails this morning, like, did you watch the end? And I was like, not yet. They're like, oh, boy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. People email you still? Yeah. You don't text? A couple texts, but a couple okay. emails, too. All right. Curb Your Enthusiasm Curb. on? On HBO. HBO All. Go and now. Go, Go and now. now. Go now. Go now. Hey now. So hey now. That's my also my only on HBO thing Go. to make it from Prime. And a couple shows have been on Prime. Couple follow up like you know ones that I that I liked. Prime has original content, but I think this one, I think this is actually their pillar. This is the one that they are they're going with, and you can see the way they're advertising and their advertisers all over the place now because the second season just hit. Um, so the Grand Tour, which is. It kind of the fun story for those who don't know uh there was a show in in the uk for 20 something years called uh top gear and it had these it had in and out people but basically these three characters who are hosts and about a show about them kind of you know looking at cars and doing stuff fun things like that anywho the bbc and these hosts had this huge blowout like big and one of them uh clarkson was fired at the end of it. And they tried to replace him. Then they tried to get the other two to stay on. But Amazon swept in, said, swore like you would on a podcast. Yeah. And, uh, and said, we'll just take the whole show. We can't use the actual thing because we don't want to fight with BBC. But we'll basically remake the show, make it better, give you all the budget in the world. And by the way, your two buddies, you come along with you. So it is, it's like they took the three hosts away from this show and recreated it. And it's really good. Season one is already out there. It was out there last year. Season two, again, they took the best part of the show. The best part of the show was that they do these adventures. And that was what made, like, they do one a year or maybe one every other year where they do these huge drives across Africa and things. And they make, make cars. And it was just, they're so fun to watch. So the Grand Tour said, you know what? Oh, that was the good part? Let's just do more of that. So, like, every episode is kind of them in a different area, a different part of the world, and they do different stuff. So, it is very good. You do not have to be a car person. If you are a car person, this is, like, it's the best. And well, if you're a car person, you know all about this. But if you don't, it's still really enjoyable. The characters are amazing. Watch it. I just I can't say enough about it. Like, I, it could have made my – it could have made number one. But the, top, the next top three are so good, it's like I can't – I can't even. Can't, can't even. Can I, I even? already know what two of them are. Yes, you do. I don't know. What I the moved third them one around is. though. I was, I was, I was hesitant, but well, yeah. I'm gonna take this one because I don't know if it's making your list or you just let me have it. Stranger Things two. Yeah, it didn't make my list. All right. Well, Stranger Things two is out. It's been out now for maybe a month, and finished watching it in time for this podcast. Very good. But either way, uh, first season was a phenomenon. I would say. Yeah. I think it, it launched without too much fanfare but caught on in a huge way very 80s nostalgia um goonie style type of show but it's a show and it's it's given time to breathe and done in long form so it's like eight episodes nine episodes long and it's set in the 80s and it's got some kind of weird funky you know 80s spooky stuff going on and some very not i'll say it's campy and not at the same time because well yeah. a little bit but on the other side it's it's just a really well done show yeah and while it's completely wild and like you know it is stranger things right yeah. it's it's not a real yeah you know it's got a little lean on happen. me in there it's like it's got a lot of stuff kids. in there yeah. it's got the kids it's got the adults it's got it like be- some nostalgia things it feels very i guess it's why it didn't make my top 
TV and 10. I mean, I did leave off things like Game of Thrones. So, like, I left off stuff yeah, that's... Yeah, but we've talked about those before. That well, was kind of the thing. I didn't do a thing that we didn't talk about. I just thought, I, I like Stranger Things, but, like, right now, if you, like, said, here's six movie, here's six shows coming out tomorrow, which one are you going to watch? Like, that, like, I would hit a lot of shows before that. I really, really enjoyed it, but I'm not, like, at the edge of my seat like cannot wait to get back to it you know i think that's the way i feel like if i if i feel like i cannot wait then i was like okay that show is really good all right um, lay it on us your last all three. right so my last your three the monster, last two you're gonna know monster three this one i'm gonna throw in there this is gonna be a little surprising and it's a lot of content and i'm kind of well it is it is a series kind of i'm um, throwing them all together but there are some of the most enjoyable things i've watched all year, without a doubt. And so I couldn't pick one of them or not. So I'm picking something. I'm calling it The Decades. And it's the CNN series, which is available on Netflix now. Mm -hmm. um, the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And There's a 90s. I think there's a 90s airing now. Because I think we have like a couple of them. But I wouldn't even watch. Don't TiVo them. Wait until it shows up on Netflix. Because there, there's something about watching them just back to back. And they are, they are so enjoyable for someone who was alive in the 80s clearly born in the 70s not alive in the 60s there's just so much stuff and and going over these historic moments and having people talk about them it's entertaining and what's fun is it's not just like oh here's what happened they take these uh they they take like a part of what's going on in the decade like, and they always do move the music and they always do tv yeah, there's two always a music and a TV. But that's what's so fun, because if you watch those two... And the first one's always the TV one. Like, one in the 80s, I think they did, or the 90s, or sorry, the 80s, I think they did a comedy one, where it's just all about the comedy of the of the 80s, or something like that. So they won't just say, oh, here's what happened in 1981, right? They'll say, I'm, and that's what makes it fun. And they kind of cross each other, and the people, the characters they get are interesting to, like, talk about it. Um, it's just really, really well done. They are... There's just no, and Tom Hanks is behind it, so that's a thing. Like, that's you gotta thing. watch that. So, the decades, it's on Netflix now. I don't even know where it'll end up, but I, I mean, it's a lot. I think you can download them. It'd be great for a plane, or if you have, you know, mono or something and you're at home, like, watch all these. Sort of need three more. You need three more. All right, got it. I'm gonna pick a show. Oh, good. That's good. That just came back. Okay. It's, it's airing now, and like, oh. I want to say it's like season eight or something on Showtime. Okay. So you can catch it on the Showtime whatever app. Oh, I think I know what this one is. Showtime now, Showtime to go. Oh, eight or nine seasons, maybe not. Okay, go. What did you think I was, where would yeah. you think I was going? I'll say it and then I'll say it. Shameless. That's what I was sorry. I didn't know that it's eight or nine seasons. Yeah, it's very deep. Yeah. Um, Continues to just shell out great shows. I mean, this thing is overlooked consistently as a as it goes for um, people talking about it. And it, it's just really good and it just keeps going and it keeps kind of getting better. And every time you want to um, sort of, every time you think that they can't do something like over more over the, they just keep going. Like it, it's one of the most brutal shows to watch because while it's a, kind of a comedy it's a dramedy and it's it's almost a tragedy in a way yeah so, it looks really hard to watch it's like i've never seen an episode it's funny but it doesn't look funny it to me. is funny i promise you that it is funny like i another also period funny well another period's on another level but okay a funniness this is a different kind of funny like give me a give me a thing that you would connect it up to um it's like always sunny funny no, it's it's not a comedy in that way because it's an hour long drama, but it has like a lot of funny moments in it. Funny awkward moments? No, just general like funny, but like in a tragic funny? kind of way. Like people falling down on broken glass and going to the hospital because mm. it's funny. Yeah, that's not like no. No, I, I can't really compare it to anything. That's a good thing though for Shameless. I think if it's really a category by itself, yeah, Especially good actors and actors. Very good. Yeah. Amy Rossum's in it. She's great. Yep. Um, William H. Macy's really good. Yep. And all the kids are really good. Really good show. So, Showtime. 
Good Showtime. So I'm th- my last two. So these actually my last two are they're both Netflix. They're both Netflix, and the joke is you have not seen either one of them. Uh, uh, no, I tried watching one and I fell asleep. <laughs> that's big. that's terrible. Yeah, uh, it is. And they're both they're both rebooted or they're both out now, so it's kind of a great time to go back and and binge them. Uh, there are certain shows that if you came to me and said, "Oh, I've never watched X." And I, I have this feeling of, of uh, jealousy. Um, Battlestar Galactica's one, like that whole series, not the original one, but the rebooted one. I've talked about that many times before. I think I made it one of my top 10 picks. Um, like I, I'm jealous of someone who gets to go watch that. Deadwood. Like I've watched Deadwood twice or maybe three times. I, if someone said, oh, I've never watched Deadwood, I'd be like, oh, I'm so jealous. Like, cause you get to go like watch it from the beginning and start and watch this show. Uh, I guess if you don't watch Sopranos, whatever. These two shows feel that way. Like, I'm jealous that you have not seen one of them. So I'm gonna pick the first one. I seen either of them. Yep. So Peaky Blinders. Uh, it's on its fourth season. Just came out Netflix. The way I've been describing it to you, and the wife and I were beating up on you yesterday about it. Uh, I love when you guys do that. By the yes, way, yes, I, know I you do. do. Is I was trying to compare it to something that like you know and love, and so I compared it to Deadwood because you it sure did. It has that Deadwood feeling. It's a story that's based in some timeline that's real. It's in the past. Uh, it's in England. Uh, it's not as far back as as uh, as Deadwood was, but has amazing characters and fun, like that great mix of like bad guys that you like and good guys that you don't like, and dirty and gritty. Uh, but here's the thing. It went through three seasons. We watched the, all three, like, just powered through. We're like, oh, my God, we love this, we love this. And then I went to search, and it said season four canceled. Never going to do it. The, the the cast is, like, disagreeing with whatever. And I and we just were like, oh. And I felt like what Deadwood, I felt like that Deadwood feeling, you know, that, which apparently is going to come out as a movie. So maybe we all call this around. But then, I don't know, like a month ago, it hit my radar. Season four is coming out. So I, I'm, I'm, the next two are ones. They're both out right now, and the wife and I are just like chomping, like which one we're going to go to. We can't, we can't decide. I'm so excited. So anyway, Peaky Blinders is my number two. But you've seen all the ones that are out. Well, no. Well, both of them just came out with second season. Well, the next one has a second season. This one has the fourth season. It's out now. Oh, it's just, out. It like just either, or maybe it's coming out like next week. They're both this month. Oh, wow. Coming out. How good for you. I'm very excited. So excited for you. The next one, I think, is out now now. Oh, all right. Well, maybe I'll watch one of these. Uh, okay. I'm going to pick John Oliver's show. Yeah, this last week tonight. Or this last week tonight. This week tonight. Last week tonight. Last week tonight. I thought it was this week tonight. Wow. Don't even know your own shows. Oy. Anyway. Don't swear. He, he does a really good job of mixing the... I guess I would say it's like the Daily Show format, but in long form without yeah. guests. Yep. Because he does a quick kind of monologue just like the daily show would have their first monologue but then he's like okay and now he's and now this right just throws it to like a little quick 30 second thing and then goes into a 20 minute long form dare i say journalistic type of story you can dare i mean dare to compare seems like they do a lot of research while it's very funny and he throws a lot of jokes into it much like the daily show it is also very serious topics that he's talking about and um really gets way into the weeds on them like to the point of wow you really have a good research team and that's journalism right yep so i would say last week tonight for funsies and for learnsies i like the learnsies i do it was made my honorable mentions uh I think I've talked about it before, so I just didn't put it on there. It is also something, for some reason, HBO, I feel like I forget. I forget that last week tonight, and I'm like, oh, yeah, have I watched one of those? Then it hasn't been on. Before. It hasn't been on. They, he's basically taken, like, since October off. Yeah. Like, he's done for Maybe that's year. my thing that, like, it's just not consistent enough, and it's not seasonal enough. It's not like it's season four, 
and you watch them because they are they're weekly. And if you kind of go too many weeks, then once you watch it, if you you know the political stuff that he talks about is very what's happening now or last week. So sometimes you watch it like, oh, that's yeah. kind of old. The long form stuff's good well, any any and time. And HBO breaks out the long form stuff. So if you go into HBO now, they have clips, and right. so you can just watch the part he talked about this, right? And We're, without the beginning and end, right? So Which if you want, you can or not. Well, sometimes you think that's the episode. You he has good it. callbacks too to certain things. Like at, as he goes through the seasons, it's fun to watch him go back to older stuff that he mentioned yes. at the beginning of the season or whatever. He, he he is very fun. I saw him. Uh, he's one of the comedians I saw. You saw him live. In, in did live. you not? He was All very right. good. Let's go. All right. So you know it. I know it. The I last do know one. It. I do. This know season it. two just came out. Uh, I'm. It's The Crown on Netflix. It is the show that. When someone kept to watch, I just thought, what? What? Like, what? Why would I? It just was so badly named. But it's probably the one of the best shot, produced, directed, uh, staged, and um, venued shows that I've seen in the longest and longest time. It is about Queen Elizabeth starting in the 50s. And. It's just amazing. Where they shoot it, you don't feel like you're watching a show. You feel like you're watching either real life or whatever, the greatest documentary ever. Uh, you feel like you're right there. The acting is amazing. The costumes are amazing. And for this telling a tale that's true, that's not made up, you you just you can't believe it's true. And it's so kind of, I don't know, it's just, it's just so well done. I mean, and... So the second season just came out. Again, can't can't be more excited about this ever. Uh, Your this life is, is the, amazing. This is one of those shows where you just want to you want to like you don't want to go through it too fast, but then you want to watch them all. You know, like you, like you're a little bit like I don't want to watch them all in one day because I kind of want it to last, but I want to watch them all in one day because I want to watch them. Um, I, I think this. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. If we were to make our top ten of all time. This is on the outs right now. It's like, you know, it's up there. It's beyond You mean 10. with its one season? Yes. But if it can nail the next two seasons and get a good solid three, this, I think, could go all the way to the to one of the best shows I've ever watched in my life and could knock off everything else. But it has to do that. It has to keep going and be as good. But for a one season, I don't know of a show I've talked about more, that I think about more, that I'm more excited about. And it's a slow burn. Like, don't go in there. I mean, Peaky Blinders is like, you know, rough and tumble, you know, people killing people kind of stuff. This is historical, but it is. There are just some moments that we'll watch, and the wife and I will turn to each other, and we'll be like, that scene was amazing. Like, you'll just, it'll be a 20 minute scene, and you just turn to each other, and you're like, and it wasn't something blew up. It wasn't Avengers. It was like, that was an amazing scene. And anyway, I just I can't talk enough about it. It is really good. The Crown on Netflix, season one and two. Two's out either yesterday or today or this weekend, whatever. Binge it. Binge it. Binge it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a last show here. I'm kind of hesitating. I kind of want to go back to something that I've picked in the past that I don't think has gotten much traction in the universe. You're gonna pick I want to bring it back. So you alone, and as podcaster here at the Cloud Focus Week Studios, are right? Try to... I mean, there's a show that I think is very important. Did you for watch it this see. year? Yeah. All right, fine. You could. Pay. I mean, it's kind of just. I mean, I didn't watch it this year, no. so no, I no, didn't. You, can't. you have to have watched it this year. It's the whole point of this thing. So yeah. All something right. You watch this. Well, year. then I'm going to pick something that I watched this year that is probably like blah for this show, but well, we're not going in any. Research. We're not going in any particular order, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, we went from top to bottom. Well, I didn't. I yeah, just I started picking things. I so I just love Shark Tank. <laughs> Yep, you went real serious. You went like, here's my top best show ever. I'm just going with a very relaxed, enjoyable 43 minutes of television. Shark Tank, what's wrong with Shark Tank? It's people pitching, money involved. It's fun as all can be. It's great. Wow. You go on, you don't even need you don't even need TiVo. It's on Hulu. You just pop it on. It's everywhere. You just pop it on. Shark Tank, it's the best. 
People so go in, they I, pitch their ideas, they want some money for equity. It's fun as a business owner to watch this all happen. It's fun to watch people show off new products and, and learn about them. The stuff yeah, you, you buy it. It's a, it's it's a like good a commercial. It's, yeah. Shark Tank's the best, man. You got Mark Cuban in there. So this year, you got Mr. Fun. Wonderful in there. This season, they've got Richard Branson in there. They've that gotten all sorts of people in there. Or the two episodes that they're both on uh, Cuban Branson. and him. Where they're throwing water at each other? Yeah, and where he's like touching him, he's like, "Stop touching me!" Like yeah. they got really they testy. Don't, I I like Branson because he's like, I can just buy all of you pretty much. So yeah, like, it's I'm not just as gonna. Much as you think? Yeah, but I'm just gonna. To I'm just gonna kind of like outbid you on this one, right? Because I can. Always talking eighty or whatever, but they had that one really big argument oh, about, yeah. the, big about the uh, woman who came on doing the was it the meditation app. And yeah, they they were not. Like she had two point four million in sitting in the bank, and she's asking for five hundred thousand dollars. And they're like, "You don't need this money. You're on here just to get airplay." She's like, "No, I that's need that's one money. of Cuban's pet peeves." Yeah, I I listen. I ninety seven percent of the time believe with uh, or whatever with Mark Cuban. I, he, I think he's got his head on straight. Anyway. Wow. Yeah. What a list. Yeah. What a list. I mean, it's I could end it with other things, but. That's you where I decided. Have. You could have. I could have, but that's where I went. Well, two of my things were on my uh, my honorable mentions last week tonight, and NFL streaming were actually on my honorable mentions. NFL uh, streaming, pretty good. Premier I, League streaming, very good. Some other stuff that like didn't make it, but I was just throwing out to the universe. Uh, again, if you like if you like Shark Tank, I think the profit is five hundred times better than Shark Tank. It's just more in depth, and Marcus Lomotis is kind of my hero. Love him. Uh, like I didn't mention Sherlock season four. Me That's neither. crazy. Yep. I had that one in there. Um, and then what was the one up here that? I, oh, and then all of the all of the Marvel Netflix shows. So yeah, I don't really care the about those. Jessica Jones, the Luke Cage, the Daredevil, the Punisher, the Defenders. Nah. I should have picked them somehow, but I couldn't decide which you one I wanted just to pick. Picked all of them and said yeah, all like of these all, things. But I don't like them all. There you go. I would have picked Jessica Jones. I like Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones 2 is coming out in March. I'll watch that. Uh, I would say The the Punisher just recently was very good. Worth it. And one other throw out there, uh, the Netflix uh, Before Jerry Seinfeld. Very funny. Ah, I watched that. I think you fell asleep to that one, too. It's on planes because I fall asleep to things on planes. But I did make it all the way through. So good if you're you're a Jerry Seinfeld fan. All right. Well, that's it. We're not going to make any picks. We just made 20 picks. We'll save my pick. Well, my pick was going to be the Amazon app is now on uh, is now on Apple TV, which is Mine nice. Mine too. Works great. Yeah, it works. You guys to sign in and you're in. You're in. And then it works on Apple TV. And, or the TV app, which syncs across all your devices, which is nice. Like you go into like your iPad and it's like, oh, here's what you were just watching on Netflix and it's of this place. Yep. They got to get They got to get the profiles down. It's still, so Apple TV's or TV app has to have profiles like Netflix and Hulu has profiles. Yeah. That's going to be hard. Yeah. It then, stores like, all the accounts. Like it does like, you know, it has all the accounts at the right. OS level. So want, you should be able to like. TV app and then see, oh, someone just watched, you know, 50 you should episodes be able of to like Bob. pop on the Apple TV and then say, who are you? Right. I'm this person. And then your apps show up. Right. Ooh. Oh, that'd be so cool. All right. Well, we'll be back next year yeah you can next follow year. us in all the places no uh, cursing next year don't even not we have to figure out how to <laughs> how to bleep I, I that i literally have to bleep that out that's gonna be fun maybe i'll just maybe i'll record myself going record, ah! record yourself going astro oh and just, that'd be funny someone just someone just peed themselves a little that you just said that you was no, you're just me. sitting there no yeah. all right we'll be back next year it's been a great year thanks for listening thanks for downloading And we will see you next year, as always. As we always say, wait for it. Wait for it. Who who now? It's Justin and Jason saying, enjoy those cloudy days. (laughs) 